Hello dear students welcome to e-learning classes of PN Amase High School we will continue with our chapter number 3 playing with numbers Now exercise 3.5 question number 1 which of the following statements are true students here we have to state whether which of these statements are true Now solution for question number 1 A part of question number one: If a number is divisible by three, it must be divisible by nine. Students, here we have to state whether the number which is divisible by three is divisible by nine or not. The answer is false. I will explain you this with the help of an example. As fifteen is divisible by three but not by nine. See, fifteen जो है वो three से divide हो सकता है पर वो nine से divide नहीं हो सकता तो जो statement है वो false है. Now B part of question number वन If a number is divisible by नाइन it must be divisible by थ्री अगर कोई नंबर नाइन से डिविजिबल है तो वो थ्री से भी डिविजिबल हो सकता है The answer is true. As थ्री is a factor of नाइन so a number is divisible by नाइन then it is divisible by all the factors of नाइन Now C part of question number one. A number is divisible by eighteen if it is divisible by both three and six. Students say what is given in this statement is that if a number is divisible by three and six, then it is divisible by its product also that is with eighteen. अगर कोई number three और six से divisible है तो वो उसका product जो है three multiplied by six eighteen eighteen से भी divisible होगा कि नहीं? So the answer is false. For example, twelve is divisible by three and six both, but it is not divisible by eighteen. As twelve जो है वो three और six से divisible है, पर वो eighteen से divisible नहीं है. D part of question number one. If a number is divisible by nine and ten both, then it must be divisible by ninety. अगर जो number कोई divisible है nine और ten दोनों से, तो ninety से भी divisible होना चाहिए. So the answer is true. बिकॉज नाइन एंड टेन आर को प्राइम नंबर्स नाइन और टेन जो है वो को प्राइम नंबर्स है एज एन एक्सप्लेन यू इन सम मोर रूल्स ऑफ डिविजिबिलिटी डेट इफ एनी टू को प्राइम नंबर्स इफ एनी नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय द टू को प्राइम नंबर्स देन डेट नंबर इज डिविजिबल बाय इट्स प्रोडक्ट ऑल्सो सो द स्टेटमेंट इज ट्रू पार्ट ऑफ क्वेश्चन नंबर वन इफ टू नंबर्स आर को प्राइम एटलीस्ट वन ऑफ दैम मस्ट बी प्राइम स्टूडेंट से वॉट इज गिवन इन द क्वेश्चन इज दैट If the two numbers are co-prime, then one of them must be prime number. अगर दो numbers co-prime है तो उसमें से एक number prime number होना चाहिए The answer is false. For example, 15 and 16 are co-prime numbers, but none of them is a prime number. Students here, 15 और 16 जो है वो co-prime number है As 15 and 16 में एक ही common factor है जो है वन But 15 और 16 दोनों prime numbers नहीं है So the statement is false. Now F part of question number वन All the numbers which are divisible by फोर must also be divisible by एट Here what is given in the question is that if any number is divisible by फोर then it must also be divisible by एट Students the statement is false because ट्वेल्व is divisible by फोर ट्वेल्व फोर से divisible है but वो एट से नहीं है so the statement is false. G part of question number वन All the numbers which are divisible by एट are also be divisible by Four. So students here, what is given in the question is जो that all the numbers which are divisible by eight. अगर number कोई divisible है eight से, तो वो number four से भी divisible है. The statement is true as sixteen is divisible by eight and sixteen is also divisible by four. Next is H part of question number one. If a number exactly divides two numbers separately, it must exactly divide their sum. Here the statement is true. I will explain you this with the help of an example. That 42 and 14 are divisible by 7. 42 or 14, दोनों no 7 से divisible हैं. So we can say that if we add 42 and 14, then also that number is divisible by 7. अगर हम 42 और 14 को plus करते हैं, तो उसका answer भी 7 से divisible है. As 42 plus 14 is 56, and 56 is also divisible by 7. So the statement is true. Now. I part of question number one. If a number exactly divides the sum of two numbers, it must exactly divide the two numbers separately. Here the statement is false. I will explain you this with the help of an example. Here, seventeen plus three is twenty. 
and 20 is divisible by 10 but the number 17 or 3 are not divisible by 10 here अगर हम दोनों को प्लस करेंगे तो आंसर आएगा 20 17 plus 3 is 20 और 20 10 से divisible है but अगर separately आप 10 को 17 और 3 से divide करोगे तो it's not possible so we can say that if a number exactly divides the sum of two numbers it must exactly divides by two numbers separately is false statement now question number 2 here are two different factor trees of 60 write the missing numbers students here two factor trees for 60 number is given we have to write down these missing numbers now solution for a part of question number 2 here a factor tree is given for number 60 we have to fill this empty spaces students as I have explained you in earlier video that here we have to write down the factors now by multiplying 6 and 10 we will get 60 6 tens is 60 so now we have to split the numbers till we get all the prime numbers. As I have explained you earlier that humko jab tak sare prime numbers, sare prime factors nahi mil jate tab tak humko numbers ko split karna hai. Now here we have to split this number 6. Abhi humko 6 number ko split karna hai as 6 is composite number. 6 composite number hai. So yahan par 2 hai aur yahan par ek empty space hai. If we multiply 2 with 3 we will get 6. 2 ko 3 se multiply karenge to 6 milega. Then here we will write 3. In this blank circle we will write 3. 2 3 is 6. Now here 10 is given. It, it is also a composite number. Again we will split this number. Here in this circle 5 is given and here an empty uh, circle is given. So if we multiply 5 with 2 we will get 10. 5 2 is 10. In this way we have to fill the blank spaces. In the first row also you can see that 6 tens is 60 and in the last row also if you multiply all these factors we will get the answer is 60. 2 3s are 6, 6 5s are 30, 32 are 60. In this way we have to fill the blank space. Now B part of question number 2 here also a factor tree is given for number 60 here also we have to blank fill this blank spaces. Here we have to split this number 60 into two factors here one factor is given 30 we have to multiply a number so that we get 60 as an answer so 30 2 is 60 32 is 60 now here 2 is a prime number so we don't have to further split it here the 2 number is prime number so you don't have to further split now here the factor is 30 we have to split this number 30 here 10 is given and here an empty space is given so 10 3 is 30. 10 3 is 30. And 3 is also a prime number so we will not further split this number. Here 10 is given. We have to split this number as it is a composite number. So here in this blank circle we will write 5 and here we will write 2. 5 2 is 10. Now if we multiply this 5, 2 and 3 and 2 we will get 60 as answer. 5 2 is 10. 10 3 is 30. 32 is 60. In this way we have to fill the blank spaces. Students with this we end our today's video and will continue with our chapter in the next video. Thank you.